Tanzanian football fans have been flocking to stadiums in record numbers in 2021, even during the peak of COVID-19 infections. The league resumed last year after three months of suspension. More than a year later, the sport is back at full capacity. CGT's Daniel Kijo looks at the state of Tanzanian football. Football is a sport millions in Tanzania love to play and watch. And while fans follow up on all top leagues in the world, things get especially exciting when local teams and arch rivals Simba and Yanga face off. In June 2020, Tanzania was one of the first countries in Africa to resume sporting activities following the onset of the COVID-19 pandemic. Ayubu Hinjo is one of Tanzania's top sports analysts. He says the closure was a serious financial issue as well. Just outside the stadium, you would see people selling jerseys, people selling food, ticket sales, all those things. This is people's livelihoods that were affected. The government lost tax from people getting tickets to enter stadiums, so it had truly dropped the micro-economies around the stadium. The return of football in the country saw Azam TV resume operations as the region's top football broadcaster. The company returned to form by airing hundreds of matches from the local league as well as the world's top leagues to more than 10 countries in East and Central Africa. By the 2020-2021 season, CAF announced the Tanzanian Premier League as the eighth best in Africa. So the presence of Azam TV has had a huge impact on African soccer. The World Football Governing Body, FIFA, reports that COVID-19 cost global soccer $14.4 billion in 2020. Fans are happy that the footballers they love are back on the pitch. This year we have been encouraged to go to stadiums again, to watch in small viewing centers like these. We enjoy the league. I think the coming league, 2021-2022, the league will be really hot. God has helped us. This disease has really declined. We see teams using the transfer window well to get players from every corner. The COVID-19 pandemic has changed conditions for football in Tanzania and around the globe dramatically. Some competitions and leagues were cancelled or postponed. But with the global vaccine rollout, it's hoped that 2022 will usher in football's full recovery. Daniel Kijo, CGTN, Dar es Salaam.